Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five really simple and easy fall slow cooker meals. They are perfect for whenever the weather starts to drop um, and get a little bit cooler outside. Some of them are very hearty and thick. Some of them are lighter on the tummy. You can add and take away ingredients that you want. I hope that y'all enjoy all of the ingredients and recipes are down below in the description box. I will see y'all after the video. Hey guys, so this first recipe is a creamy tomato soup. It's so simple. You just take 15 ounces of tomato sauce and I add a little bit of water to clean out the can. And then you're gonna take vegetable broth. I'm using this whole entire 32 ounce. I believe that's how much it is. I'm gonna pour it all in there with the tomato sauce. And then I'm gonna add a tomato paste. So I ended up adding basically all that was left in this can. I only had half of it. So you could add about two to three tablespoons into this. It's just gonna thicken it up a bit and give it more of a tomato-y taste. I'm just gonna add some seasonings. I have oregano, I'm not really measuring, um, salt and pepper, but I'm doing probably about a teaspoon each. I'm gonna add a giant 28 ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes. And then I'm gonna add one more. I'm gonna chop up and wash a bell pepper. And then I'm going to chop up the onion. This is my onion chopper. I will link it down below. Saves me a lot of time. But I'm just gonna give these all a chop into small pieces and add them into the crock pot too. And now I'm gonna cook this all day on low for eight hours or four for high. And then when it's done, I'm gonna use my immersion blender. I will link this one down below too, it's pretty cheap. And I'm going to blend this. Now all that's doing is making it completely um, smooth and not chunky. And I'm gonna add in some cream, about a fourth a cup to make it creamy. And then I'm going to tear up some parsley and add it in too. And then that's pretty much it for this recipe. It turned out really delicious and it was way thicker than like canned tomato soup, um, but not chunky thick. It just tasted really good and creamy. So family definitely liked this one. All right, so the next soup that I'm gonna do is a chicken and wild rice soup. If you don't wanna do chicken, you can definitely leave it out, but I'm gonna start with the 32 ounces of chicken broth and I'm gonna pour it all into my crock pot. I'm gonna throw in about two frozen chicken thighs. You could also do chicken breast. And then I'm gonna throw in two wild rice um, packs into the crock pot with the seasoning pack that comes with them already so I don't have to add a lot of seasoning myself. I'm gonna chop up an assortment of celery, onions, and carrots. I'm doing two onions because they are both small. You can chop up, chop up however many you want. I'm using my chopper again, and then I'm just gonna throw them in to the crock pot whenever I am done. This chopper is strong enough to cut all of these carrots at once, which is really cool. And it saves a lot of time because everybody hates to chop little carrots up. And I'm just using little carrots because I already had them on hand. But you could also use canned carrots if you had them as well. I like to use the chopper for onions too because my eyes don't water sitting there chopping up onions. It's just really quick and easy. Oh. 
and I'm just going to add in poultry seasoning. So I'm using about a teaspoon and some salt and pepper later, but that's about it for seasoning since I already have the wild rice packs. So I'm going to give it a good stir and I'm going to let this cook on low for six to eight hours, basically just until the chicken is done and the rice is cooked. And that's it. I'm just going to eat it with some bread and crackers and shred the chicken. All right, the next one is going to be a sweet potato chili. Now, bear with me, this tastes amazing, even if you don't like sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna use a 32 ounce container of beef broth to start with. I'm gonna throw in a chili seasoning mix, just because it's easy. You can use whatever type of seasoning you want. I'm gonna throw in one can of Rotel. This is just an off-brand of it. I'm gonna throw in one can of black beans. Now this particular can of black beans had something very wrong with it, like not in terms of the beans, but it didn't have a lot of liquid. It's like some, they forgot to. So I had to take a spoon and dig it out, but it still ended up working just fine. Now I'm going to wash and chop one green bell pepper and two onions. I'm doing two onions because these are pretty small. You can do a yellow or a sweet or a white onion. I'm going to ground up about one pound of ground beef on the skillet. And then I'm gonna add it into the crock pot. I'm not even gonna drain the grease because it adds some good flavor. You can drain it if you want. I'm gonna give it a really good stir. And then I'm gonna cook this on low um, for like six hours maybe, maybe longer because I'll be at work. And then I'm gonna come back from work and give it a good stir. And I'm gonna add in two frozen packs of sweet potatoes. And I'm gonna put the lid back on. So at this point, the crock pot is just on warm mode. It's not actually on and that is fine. You don't have to turn it back on. The steam from the crock pot's gonna thaw these up a bit. You can use real sweet potatoes if you want. The frozen packs save a lot of time. And that's pretty much it. It's really great with saltines. You can top it with cheese. And it really is amazing. So give it a try. All right, the next soup was probably my family's favorite soup. It has a lot in it and it's very hearty and full. So I'm just gonna ground up about one pound of ground beef and cook it until it is cooked all the way through. And then I'm gonna add it into my crock pot. I'm gonna add in the grease for flavor. You can take it out if you want. And then I'm going to add in 28 ounces of diced tomatoes. I'm also going to add in 32 ounces of beef broth. I'm going to add in two cans of red kidney beans and two cans of Keneally beans. You actually don't have to do two of each. You can do one of each. I did two of each so that we would have more, but you can just do one of each. I'm going to add in one to two bay leaves for some seasoning. I'm going to add in oregano, about half a teaspoon. Basil, another half a teaspoon. I'm also going to add in some thyme, about half a teaspoon. And then I'm just going to add in salt and pepper. I'm going to chop up some celery, some onion, and then some carrots. 
Give it a nice stir and then I'm gonna fill this up with water all the way up until the top. And then I'm gonna cook on low for six to eight hours. All right, so after it's done cooking all day, you can honestly just eat it how it is, or you can stir in these little bitty shells like I'm doing. I'm gonna stir them in, maybe add a little bit more water if I need to, and then I'm gonna close the lid and let the steam cook the pasta, and then it'll be ready to eat. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to cook butternut squash soup. This turned out really good and I was very skeptical. I'm gonna add in 32 ounces of chicken broth into a crock pot. This is actually a smaller crock pot of mine, so a smaller one will do. I'm gonna add in about two tablespoons of minced garlic for some flavor. I'm gonna add in some salt and then of course some pepper. I'm gonna add in a little bit of cayenne, like half a teaspoon. Some sage leaves I'm gonna throw in the crock pot as well. I'm gonna add in a little bit of thyme. I'm gonna chop up one onion. And then I'm gonna take my butternut squash. So I'm just gonna chop off the ends and then I'm cutting this in half since it's pretty big and you're gonna wanna seed the inside of it and throw the seeds out. I'm just gonna chop off, kind of like peeling off the skin. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna chop them up into little like one inch cubes. And this is gonna make it cook a lot faster. And then I'm gonna put all of these chunks into the crock pot. I'm gonna do the entire squash, um, not just this little piece. And then we're gonna cook on low for six to eight hours, or you can just cook it on high for four hours. Now whenever it's done, I'm gonna take my immersion blender again and this is gonna puree it and make it very smooth. Once it's done being pureed, I'm gonna add in some heavy cream. I, it really only needs about a fourth a cup. Um, you could do a little bit more or a little less depending on your preference, but that's it. It's super yummy and it's great with saltines or croutons. Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope that y'all enjoyed. Stay tuned for my next video. It's going to be five ingredients or less crock pot meals. I'm very excited about these to share with you as well. If you haven't joined my Facebook group, make sure to join down below. I'd love to have you join and catch up with me on my day-to-day -day life. Thanks for being a follower and a supporter. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye everybody.